Hello everyone and welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. Students, in our previous session we talked about that what do we mean by the shared preferences? What are the different mechanisms to store the data in the Android like internal storage, external storage, SQL database, shared preferences and the network APIs. Now, in this video we are going to learn about the shared preference example 2. So what is that? What we are going to learn? Let's see. Hi, this is our instructor Janice Shah. Students, in this today's session, we are going to make a screen which contains like this is the enter user details. Usually, you have seen that whenever you try to log in or in your anything, any application, then you just write a username, password, and one tick mark is that like remember me. Students, this remember me is nothing but when you click on the remember me then at the time the data is stored in the shared preferences so whenever you get back to your application this data is already there so what we are going to do that we are going to when you if the user click on the remember me and click on the login then he can see his name and age on the welcome screen otherwise the name and the age will not be visible to the user fine so this is another example of the shared preference where we are going to learn how can we apply the on click event on the checkboxes how can we get the checkbox value true and false how it works let's see with the practical example So just let me open up my another shared preference example number two, uh, new window. It will take some amount of time to open up the project. So what I did over here, students, is very much easy to data elements. If you have multiple text to image view or something like that. Then little layout is very much easy. So uh, inside the little, in the little layout students, I'm going to take my linear layout which contains one text view, one edit text, two different edit texts are there, one checkbox is there. See, this is my design. Let me show you. So see, this is our screen where I'm taking one text view. So the text view shows the enter user details, nothing else. In below that, I'm going to take the edit text okay so the edit text which contains the data like to enter the age enter the name so this is enter name enter age next on the below of that i'm going to take a checkbox this checkbox has like id like checkbox id and the text is the remember me so remember me is nothing but it's a text of my checkbox okay and the below of that i have one button so this button contains the wrap content, height is also the wrap content, the ID is the login button, text is the login, text is 15 dp, the background color is already given, layout gravity is center and the margin top is 4 dp. Now let me just show the whole code again. What I did, I just take one related layout, inside that one linear layout is there. See I just want to set the data in the vertical format, that's why I take uh, orientation is vertical. Okay. So, the linear layout width is match parent height is depend on my view components here that's why i take layout height as wrap content fine next layout center in parent is true okay so each and everything shows in a center in parent method now on the bill of that i take one text view the text is enter user details text size is 30 dp Layout gravity is center, text color is black. Within that, I take another edit text, edit text with the name, like a hint is enter your name, please. This is a hint, okay. Input type is text caps sentence. That means whatever you try to write down, it will be written in a caps format. Now, the Android ID is name edit. This shows the edit text with the name, then, the text size is 15 dp. Now, edit text with age. The ID is given age edt. Checkbox ID is checkbox. 
button id is login button so this is my very first activity underscore main dot xml file now let me design the another activity so what i need i just need to show my data over here so this is my text view obviously it's a welcome so inside the data layout i'm taking on text view the text size is welcome see it is not necessary to give the id to the welcome text view because we do not have any work with that so i just keep to give the id to that okay so the next we have the next text view so students the next text view what we have the layout width is match parent layout height is wrap content now the text size is 25 dp text is name and the margin is 10 dp id is name text view so instead of the name you are going to see your actual data from the shared references okay now next we will take i1 text view so text view the layout width is match parent height is ref content text size is 25 dp margin is 10 dp text is age and the id is age text view now next what we have we have the button button is the logout button the id is logout button itself and layout gravity is center so my both screens are now ready so now what we are going to do is we are just going to apply the logic we can say the backend logic for that so my first task is to open up the main where i just need to create a shared reference first okay then after creating the shared reference what i am going to do is i just need to make it in a editor mode okay put the values okay put the values in which uh, like two values are there the name and the age okay so first i need to get the values from the user okay so for that i just to bind my edit text button checkbox and shared references all are there now this is a code to bind the data okay so just name edit is equal to find you by id r dot id dot name edit login button map the checkbox map the age edit button from the java to the xml file now what next next i am going to take a boolean that is known as is remembered okay so this boolean is a nothing but it works to get the value that if you check on the students if you click on the remember me button if you click on the remember me button then it will return true otherwise false so this is remembered is just a variable okay so what i did first i just going to create a get shared reference name is shared underscore prep okay the mode is private fine now the next is remembered is equal to shared reference dot get boolean first you just need to take the values if you just click on the checkbox then and then you need to set the values for the name and age okay so checkbox is a key default value is false and then is remembered is stored so i also took the is remembered is equal to false if you don't write want to write it over here then it's also fine so is remembered is here so i have just initialized the is remembered by default value is false shared reference name is shared underscore reference and the key is checkbox now if if user click on the is remembered then what we need we just need to set the data and move from one activity to another activity so if you just click on over there then just need to make text data has been saved intent is equal to intent main activity to second activity and start intent if not then what happens see this is my login screen you just click on the login button then see just get the value convert into string age convert into the integer boolean is login remember me dot is checked remember me is a checkbox if you click on that then is check is a method for the checkbox okay so it will return true or false now open up the shared reference in the editor mode put the name and age both over there and boolean is by default true because right now the checkbox right now the checkbox value is true because checkbox is our key okay and what we need we just need to turn it from false to true whenever user click on a login button fine 
So now editor dot apply. See if user click on the login button. If it's not there, okay, then it will not redirect it. Okay. So now next, the toast dot make text data has been saved, and the main activity to this activity. Okay, and start the activity again. So now. On the second activity, the Java file students, you just need to map your logout button, name text to an H text view, and the shared reference. What you need, you just need to map all of them. Open the shared reference first. So I just return the shared reference uh, name over there. Then get string method is there. The key name is name. Okay, default value is nothing. And set this name to the name text view. Get the age by calling the get int. Age is our key, and then set the text over there. Next, when you click, set click on click by listener button, students, the logout button. When you click on the logout button, then what you need, you just need to open it in the editor mode and clear all our shared preference data and apply. This is just usage of the clear, nothing else, because you have already settled to the shared preference over here. So whenever you click on the logout, the all the shared preference data should be cleared. So then apply and move from the main activity to second activity again and just write down the finish. So students, this is how you can implement the remember me checkbox over here. Okay. So now let's let me just run this code and show you how it works. So students, now let's get ready to run this particular code. So let me just click on the run the application. My phone is connected. Okay. So let's check Redel build first. So finally, my application has been launched. See, I have already logged in, in this application before. So let me just log out first. Okay, and run this application again. So clearing all and run this application again. So this is my first screen where I can see the user details. Enter your name, please. Let me just enter like l j i e t your age is 10 years okay now click on the login button okay so when i click on the login button students you can see the l j i e t and the 10 both of them fine now let me just uh, close this application and open it again so it will redirect you to the enter the user details so like Janice, age is 45 and click on the remember me and the login. So now the data has been saved. Okay. So this is how students it works. So when you click on close the app, click on the application again and you will get the same screen because now the shared preference has been settled and login window will not be opened. Fine. So login window is open. No, it will just redirect you to the logout window or I can say the welcome screen. So now when I click on the logout, now it will redirect you to the main activity. Now see, show you again, this is a Janice, this is 44694. Four, let me click on the login button. So data has been saved. Okay. So now let me just clear catch memory. Click on over here. See, you will redirect to the login. Why? Because what the code we have settled over here that if if your share you click on the remember me then and then you can directly uh, enter in your application. But right now I need to click on the remember me. Now let me just uh, click on the remember me again. So it's a L J I E T. Your age is twenty two and click on the remember me. Now when I click on the login, okay, and then without logged out from the screen, let me just clear it okay and let me just open the application again so you can see the sales window which you left because that means you do not go in the login screen fine so this is the another example for the shared reference we, where we have shared or we have we have implemented the remember me okay or i can say remember me checkbox in your app fine so that's it so students that's all about the shared reference example in this lecture we have already seen that how the Remember me key works or the checkbox works. How can you set the shared reference data on the click of the checkbox? Fine. So that's all about the shared references. In the next session, we are going to talk about the internal storage.
Till that, if you have any doubt, then please feel free to ask me. Thank you so much.